I've already shot a video of my survival tin, but I have a couple of additional tins that I keep as backup, not on me, but in a place where I can reach them easily. So today, we'll check out what those tins are all about. Okay, in a previous video I have talked about my uh, survival tin, uh, which is something I always have in my bag, has a lot of stuff in there, but I have three additional tins which I carry in this pouch. This pouch is in a, uh, an, a uh, an office drawer uh, that I can immediately open and then I can put this on my backpack, which I've also reviewed. It has molly webbing and um, it has PALS webbing on there so that you can attach more stuff to it, morale patches with the Velcro, and you can attach another pouch to it. This thing, I, I couldn't find a, a brand of this. I got it in an army surplus store in Amsterdam, um, but it's a pretty decent pouch. pouch. It's, it's strong and sturdy, and it houses just three tins. These are tins that um, uh, fountain pens came in, but they're very nice tins. The pouch itself, very simple, has uh, one um, side there with a little uh, a divider and then a big main pouch. has a drainage grommet in it if it gets wet, very useful. Um, it's fairly water resistant I found and it's pretty cool. Uh, it does say here that it's, um, uh, it's a first aid pouch um, but it doesn't give a brand. So what is in these little tins? Um, there are three tins. There is fire and matches, there is cordage and swabs, and there is tools. Let's do tools last because of course that's the most interesting one. Um, fire and matches. These are nice tins. As I said, fountain pens came in these tins. A little bit of electrical tape around the corners to make it uh, waterproof, or at least water resistant. Of course, there are tins in a pinch. You could boil water in them to purify it if you want. Okay, so what's in here? This is fire and matches. I got a couple of things in here. First of all, safety pins. Safety pins, 1001 uses. Um, your clothes deteriorate. Uh, you can put them back together. You can put stuff in your bag, whatever you want. These are big ones. Um, so, you know, always useful to have. Cotton. Uh, I know this is not the, the, the best cotton because it's not the fluffiest, but, you know, this will burn. Uh, I always carry in my bag some Vaseline petroleum jelly, put that on there, it will burn longer. How useful to make a fire. Um, if any everything goes wrong, I have more cotton as well as waxed string in a Ziploc bag. So that if it gets wet, it won't uh, get uh, soaked. So even if this one gets soaked, I have a backup in a little Ziploc. Weatherproof matches. Um, they're, they're right here, um, little, uh, little test tube, um, so they are safe, this is uh, waterproof. Here I have a glasses repair kit, this has a little, one of those little watch um, um, uh, the screwdrivers, uh, as well as some of those emergency, the, my glasses currently don't have those little wings, but you know the things that can break off easily? Well, there are a couple of those in there, as well as some small screws if you lose one. Um, this is taped shut to not get water in there, the little black thing is just the lip, so I know that I can grab that, it's taped folded in half, and then open it up. I need it. Um, glasses cleaning, always useful. Um, button compass, Yes, it has an air bubble in there, but it's actually pretty decent. Uh, I'll take it in a pinch. Split ring, always useful, right? I mean, you never know what uh, situation you may end up in, but you can always strap something to your trousers, bag, etc. You got a little pill container. And in there is pocket fishing kit. I'll have to be a little careful I don't stab myself with the hook, so I'm going to put that off there. Um, you got your little swivels, you got some sinkers, and um, it's all in a little kit, so that should keep it safe. Um, here we have, this may sound stupid, but a pack of small playing cards. Um, if you're isolated somewhere, you may get bored, you have something to do. Also, it's paper, so you could use this to help you start a fire. It won't burn long, but it'll burn longer than wet wood, um, or more easily, I should say. There's 
some a little bit of electrical tape around it. That's not so much to use it, it's just to keep the little box together because the, the cardboard box is deteriorating a little bit. Um, rubber band, always useful, right? Strap something to something else, for example. Here we have this is a scalpel. This is actually a rounded off scalpel to remove um, stitches, uh, but you know, very, very sharp. Uh, just electrical tape on the sharp bit to, to keep it from accidentally cutting you. Striker for the matches, indeed, I should put that in the Ziploc bag with this stuff so that when it gets wet, it'll still work. Little oversight on my part. Um, here we have yet another safety pin. This one actually locks quite nice. And finally, two mini glow sticks. I think they uh, officially go for um, um, 12 hours, but after 24 hours they still glow. They're very, very, very dimly, but they do still glow. But for a couple of hours you can read maps or do stuff with it. So that's the contents of the first pouch. The second pouch is cordage and swabs. Um, whoops, sorry. Just removing the electrical tape. What do we got in here? Well, cordage. This is strong cordage. Um, it's not paracord, but strong enough. A bunch of feet, so we can get going for a bit. Then we have a small Ziploc bag, but although it's small, it's very long. Carry a few sips of water in an absolute pinch. Here we have some more cotton. You can never carry too much, always useful to start, uh, start a fire. Here I have a small leather patch. People ask me why, why leather? That makes no sense. Um, stropping a knife. Just tuning up your knife edge so that it's absolutely razor sharp in the field when you need it. And it's actual genuine leather. Just small, came with a pair of shoes, so I got it for free basically, but think creatively. All right. Here we got one of those little things, you know them from your headphones. Um, this is useful. Clip something to your bag. Um, you know, make a little... I usually carry a little light on a keychain. If you got shelter, put this in the top, suspend the light, and you got light in your shelter. Here we got a bit of snare wire. It's not a lot, but it is going to be used for a snare. Um, you got a little bit of a tube. I got three of those. In them are black mini zip ties. Um, put them in a tube. Tube you can always use. Uh, emergency, medical situation, tracheotomy, etc. I wouldn't really recommend that, but there are uses for a tube. Uh, for example, a somewhat more, more innocent one, dew. There is dew on leaves. How are you going to get it off if, you need, if you're dehydrated? You're going to lick it off. That's the kind of waste body fluid as well. With this, you just suck it off like a straw. So, a lot of uses for a bit of tubing. Um, here we got some bigger black zip ties. Why black? Because it's tactical, boys and girls. Alright. Here we got a little heart closure. Always very uh, useful if you need to put something on your bag or on your trousers. Uh, that has to be on there very securely. Uh, very simple. Um, in an emergency, um, you could weave this through someone's bandage and twist it to make it really tight into a tourniquet if there's no other alternative. Um, we got alcohol swabs in a little Ziploc bag so they don't get wet. Alcohol swabs, a lot of uses, clearly disinfecting wounds, but it's alcohol. This will burn, help you start a fire. Think creatively. Alright, here we have more swabs. You can't have enough of them. You definitely can't have too many of them. This is a small heliograph, uh, you know, mirror, signaling, got a little hole in there, everything you need. All right, then we have some of these hooks. Again, put something on your trousers, on your bag, uh, on shelter, etc. Help you make shelter. Um, very useful. I carry a rain poncho that has metal O-rings in them. You can use this to help you make shelter, connect stuff to it. All right, here we have three heavy-duty jumbo paper clips. This is the really, these are the really thick metal ones that don't bend very easily. Bend them in shape, 
and you've got a little prying tool, you can make a little hook, you can improvise a fishing hook, you can do a lot of stuff with a paperclip. These are three super strong magnets. Um, and when I say super strong, then I mean they really are strong. Um, magnets, always useful. Um, put stuff together, uh, you know, you drop your keys in water, take some string, attach this to it, put this on there, drop it in the water, you retrieve your keys. You know, again, think creatively. Finally, sewing kit, we got fishing line, and we have a um, sewing kit, there is a needle on there as well, as well as a small safety pin. Uh, I don't really want to get this out of the, uh, the ziplock, it's already, already a long video. Um, so that's the second kit. Then finally there's the third one, the tools kit. Has a couple of nifty things in there. Um, first of all, um, a smaller tin could be useful, you know, if you really have to leave stuff behind, you have a small one that you could cram full of stuff. More cotton. Again, you never know. If you gotta make a fire, you got that ready. Uh, there are four things in here. First of all, uh, here I have some uh, Arabic gum, gum Arabic. Um, you don't really eat this stuff or anything, but it's pliable, it's moldable. Um, maybe you could turn this into a bobber when you, when you fish, but I, I'm assuming it's going to sink. Um, but you could do all kinds of stuff with it. So for example, imagine you have a phone, you need to make a stand, you got a stand. You see, so it's a lot of uses. Um, just, just be creative in, in what you do with it. All right, then we got. Oh yeah, I had five items in here. That's right. Here, yeah, this is a beautiful thing. I think I got this for five euros or something. It's, it's a, it's a bargain. Um, you unscrew it. Out come the eight. No, it's, yeah, I think it's eight. Yes, eight micro bits. Um, you can screw stuff for five euros. I'm sure this is pretty soft steel, but I'll take it in a pinch, right? Um, it's a magnetic uh, system, so you got yet another magnet. Um, very simple, you can clip it to your shirt pocket or whatever. And this is just black electrical tape, uh, a meter or so, so that you can get stuff. Um, you, you can, you know, tape stuff up as you see fit. Here we have, I forgot the name of this tool. I think it's a Swiss a mini champ or something. It's made by Victorinox, but this is bigger than the regular those small knives they do. This is thicker, it has more layers. So what have we got in here? Well clearly we have a little eye. Um, again, combine it with something like this uh, and you can easily put it on your pocket or bag or uh, whatever. Um, got a couple of tools in there that I find very useful. First of all, a ballpoint pen. You have to make a note, then you can. Um, on the outside is a pair of tweezers, always useful. Thorns, ticks, uh, splinters, etc. Um, okay, on this side you have your scissors work very well, I can tell you. A little bit redundant, but here we have a Phillips screwdriver as well as a bottle opener. Um, here we have a small knife, clearly very small, but these Victorinox knives are very sharp, so at least you've got a good cutting tool, even though it is small. Here you've got a nail file and a nail cleaner, you know, put it on your nails. Um, this stuff works and a file is always useful. Uh, you can also use it on wood, obviously. Here you've got another knife blade, this one has a flat edge, and uh, that's useful for cutting specific things. Um, here you have a beautiful fish line cutter. Uh, this thing is very sharp. In a pinch, a seat belt cutter, clearly if you have to dig through your tin to find it, that's not going to be very useful, but you know, um, cut cordage or whatever, it's pretty cool. And I suppose with a bit of improvisation, I don't know, maybe small harpoon to a stick or something, it has a pointy tip. Um, I'm sure you can find uses for that. Here we have a microscopic ruler. This is a little over an inch, about an inch and a, well, a half I guess. Uh, and uh, uh, that's a little over three centimeters, plus a little flathead screwdriver. And then finally, something that I like a lot, um, this is officially a cuticle uh, a cleaner device, whatever, um, but you can also use it as a spatula, uh, stir things up, 
uh, and it's it's metal so you can with a bit of fire you can disinfect it um, useful for you know cleaning wounds or as I said stirring things um, it's quite nice okay this is a very simple tool but I absolutely love it dermasafe.com uh, I think it's Swiss made uh, this is a survival saw it doesn't lock in place as you can see it takes up very little space with that little finger thing cut out it's very pleasant to hold um, this saws through wood plastic and even metal and I've used it for all those purposes and it works as you can see it's been through some uh, trauma so to speak but this thing works and it is fantastic you can also buy these with a razor blade so you can put a razor blade in there or can even exchange it um, and I think they may even make them with both blades in there uh, I chose to I mean I already have knives in here so I just chose to, to save space I just chose the saw works very well final tool in here is my mini multi-tool I typically carry a multi-tool on my a person at all times but you know in a survival situation if that gets lost hey you have a backup and it's not bad at all the Gerber clutch um, again a little ring to put this uh, on your belt or something but this has some cool stuff going for it first of all you get your spring-loaded multi-tool um, and this is a decent pair of needle nose pliers yes it's pretty thin super heavy prying I can see that this might snap but hey again in a pinch it'll work you got your needle nose you got your round pliers you got your wire cutter and that's pretty much it on that side but it works it definitely works and then you got a bunch of tools so here you have a flathead screwdriver here you even have small pliers built in, uh, sorry not pliers, uh, pincers uh, built in, tweezers I should say. Um, tweezers again always useful. What's nice about these is that they're cut at a slanted angle which means that if you try to take a thorn out you can sort of align it with your finger, works very well. On the other side you have a small flat head, uh, sorry, uh, um, a tool that can be used as a Phillips screwdriver but also as a flat head. Um, which is not particularly bad and on the other side you have a larger flathead and a bottle opener um, I don't think you'll be opening a lot of bottles in a survival situation but if you do end up in a spot where you do find some supplies you never know then on this side we have a knife um, which is not the sharpest I've ever used but it's definitely not dull um, this is now a very short bit of paracord and as you probably know that is very hard to cut if you don't get enough leverage but let me see Victorinox makes short work of that as well so you got your knife it's a little bit bigger than the one on the Victorinox tool so at least you got a you got you know a relatively good knife blade um, but it doesn't lock so be a little careful um, and then finally on the other side you have a large nail file and a nail cleaning tool so the clutch I think is a pretty cool tool um, something you could add to this small flashlight but I already have one but you know something that's small that could fit in there would probably be very useful um, so we have that and um, that's that's pretty much all there's to it now one thing I'll say I always say but knives sharp objects use them responsibly I hope this was useful guys and uh, I'll gladly see you later bye bye